Hey, this is MassX with a new One Punch Man The Strongest video. And let's talk about what's going on this week. As you can see on the event of the week calendar, we have flower gifts, which I'll go ahead and take a look at for you guys. Zombie Man Returns. I did a prior video on him coming over a week plus ago. I will put the link in the description on that one. We have figurine projects, which will be starting on the 15th weekend bonus and part rate up which will be nice um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming down first we've got that zombie man limited recruit notice that has dropped basically he is going to be starting on the 15th through the 22nd you'll be able to get zombie man again there'll be the character trial as normal and that will also start on the 15th and go through the 22nd and then there'll be uh, the benefit where, you know, your pity you can drop 108 times and they'll automatically get Zombie Man. And then we've also got the limited gem exchange of limited vouchers. With those limited vouchers, if you're not drawing for Zombie Man and saving up for the future in this game and next month's new character LSSR drop, you definitely should be going after your limited vouchers during this time and building them up. As I've done in a previous video, which I'll also leave a link in the description with a full breakdown, we do have our Season Pass 2 of our hero backup, and it is Silver Fang this time around, so make sure you're doing those quests. Then we've got some Valentine's Day rewards. Make sure you're logging in every day to get your Valentine bouquet. They give you some rewards from that. And we also have flower gift, okay? Basically, each time you send flowers, you can randomly get one reward. You will get a rare reward after sending flowers a special, a specified number of times. And each time you clear a main story stage, elite stage, or boss challenge, there's a 20% chance of getting one willy each time you clear Conqueror's Challenge, a natural disaster, or talent trial, there's a 50% chance of getting one lily. Each time you clear extreme training, there's a 100% chance of getting one rose. And you can also purchase flowers um, in the mall, of course. And it looks like the quest rewards here are, as you can see, Idle Soul, some random orange gears, which is nice, some gems, and a collector's figurine base, too. The quests really go about just gifting and how often you gift them. Now again, these are nice. I wouldn't be spending any money in the shop for the flowers. You're doing your dailies, you're getting these, just make sure you're gifting them and maximizing what you can get from this. We also got a celebration offer. Um, it was definitely a good deal, but it's only for spenders, so I really don't want to get into it. And that kind of wraps it up for the week. You know, we got some good stuff, some stuff to do. Make sure you're logging in daily. And if you are going for Zombie Man, I wish you luck. I'm really curious to see what the figuring projects is exactly. If you know what that is, go ahead and put that in the comments. We'd really like to know. I didn't find any real information on it out there. And of course, the weekend bonus we know in the parts rate up should be cores, which is always a big, big plus. Well, remember, I put some links for the Zombie Man information in the description, as well as the backup stick with Silver Fang, if you want more information on those. And, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Take care.